go. See that coming. The longer I gotta look for you, have some of this. I'll shut your mouth permanent. Don't let him get you air rolled. Wait, it's still uploading remotely. There must be multiple access points. Stephanie, you're my eyes in the sky. See anything else strange in the park? Uh, I see a pair of horned owls and... Oh, more guys at a nearby junction box. Thanks. Keep a lookout for anything else. I need to get to that junction box before the upload completes. They can't access the laptop. They can't upload. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. I better get moving. Two more? I never thought I'd say this. But why does Central Park need such strong Wi-Fi coverage? I thought people came here to get away. There they are. Need to keep them away from that box. Got it! Get it! Bring a fellow, Rito! Get down here! Showing off. People of Manhattan can rest easy knowing that their passwords and cat videos are safe. Spider-Man? 
I think they might have seen me. Oh no. Are you sure? Uh, pretty sure. Armed men just arrived. Lock the roof entrance and hold tight. I'm on my way. We need to get to Stephanie before Fisk's men do. She wouldn't be involved if it weren't for me. They're trying to break down the door. We know you're working with the spider. Open up! Nearly there. Check on Stephanie. Oh, thank you, Spider-Man. That was a little more exciting than my average night of birding. Hey, thank you. Your eagle eyes stopped an incarcerated crime boss from harvesting half the city's personal data. Not too shabby, huh? Plus, I found a nest of red-breasted nuthatches when you triple kick that guy in the face. Real beauties, too. You want to check them out? Thanks, but uh, I think I'll focus on jailbirds for now.
units. Officers needed to assist civilians trapped in their vehicles. Officers needed in Yorkville. Nasty car wreck down there. People might be hurt. Thugs who caused the wreck are down, but people are still trapped. I've got you. Stay calm. There's someone inside that car. They're pinned by debris. I had it covered, but thanks. Someone's pinned under that car. Need to hurry. Just a little more! That's everyone. Glad I was here to help. life. Thank you.
You guys don't look like locksmith. And we're done. Hey, old-fashioned B&E. Gotta love the classics. The full set? I should get extra credit for this. Muggers, gotta jump in. Oh, it is on. Always nice to stop a mugging. Gotta stay strong in the fundamentals.
and that's that. Every crack tower in the city's now repaired. Pretty good work, right? Pretty good, yeah. Good enough that maybe you'd let a certain someone celebrate with us? <sighs> Fine, but make it quick. The odds were long, the danger close. But between Spider Cop's reckless intuition and the Chief's determined planning, they got the job done. Aw, that's kind of sweet. A pairing of opposites. Like peanut butter and chocolate, or breakfast for dinner. The two work together. And we're done. Talk to you later, Spider Cop. She's coming around, right? Yeah, definitely. Officers needed to assist civilians trapped in their cars after a crash. Officers needed in God's Anchor. Over. Car wreck down there. Bad one. People could be injured. Let's kick it up a notch! There's someone inside that car. They're pinned by debris. Almost got it! I need to find whoever caused this wreck before anyone else gets hurt. Oh, thank you. Uh, you okay? I'm losing him! Gotta catch up. I think you forgot to give people your insurance info back there. Steady! I'll get it! Curbside service. one to promote conspiracy theories. Except ones I think are worthy of further discussion, like this one. I've heard reports of Spider-Man Spider hovering around radio towers. At first, I thought he was sabotaging them. But a far more alarming possibility came to mind. In his misguided delusion that he is protecting us, is he hacking into all our conversations? Business credit card transactions. Those personal calls with the wife when you're on a long, lonely book tour. I mean, when one is on a book tour, I wasn't talking about myself. I don't do that sort of thing. And anyone who thinks they have recordings of... Those some fist holds grudges. Who knew? Thank you. I'm giving him an earful. Hey, uh, you okay? Love it. Can I get an autograph? Over here! Sidewalks. 1031. Got a breaking and entering in progress. Nearest officer, proceed to Robinson.
Knocking. seeing a kidnapping. Report came in from Douglas. Set my earpiece to focus on muffled voices. I think we have a winner. Easy, I've got you. Understaffed. I was afraid no one would find me. There! Those are the guys who did it! Guy in a trunk. 
Man, I feel like I say this every 20 minutes, but only in New York. I just had to thank you for saving my daughter from those muggers. Uh, when did this happen? Just now. <sighs> Busy guy like you. I guess it all blurs together, huh? Near the theater on 126 and Powell. She just called and told me. Right. Sorry. Uh, happy to help. I'm glad your daughter's safe. Okay, I wasn't anywhere near there. I should swing by and see what's going on. There's the theater, and the crime scene. I better find out what happened. Still alive. So whoever did this isn't a lethal protector. That's promising. Sorry I missed the action. Thanks for keeping us safe, Spider-Man. You're back already? I thought you were checking out that fire. Right. Uh, on my way now. Which way was it again? Last time you went that way. South. Thanks. I got a little turned around. Someone's impersonating me. It could be the chameleon again. I've got to pick up his trail. Can you like lift something? It does smell like there was a fire in this direction. There's the fire damage. Looks like it got- You came back! I can't thank you enough for saving my friend from the fire. I thought she was dead. My pleasure. Look, I want to make sure everyone's safe, but the smoke kind of got to me. Do you remember where I went next? Sorry, I was helping my friend. I think you went back up there. Thanks. I give your friend my best. Whoever foe Spider-Man is, he's helping people. But what he's doing is dangerous. I've got to find him. I wonder if other me left anything behind. He used the fire escape. Guess he couldn't copy my web shooters. What'd you do with that fire extinguisher? Fire extinguisher, huh? Wonder where he left it. He used a fire extinguisher. What type of suppressant is in this?
ADP. Pretty standard. And easy to track. He got fire suppressant on him. If I key my lenses to track its chemical signature, it should lead me right to Spider-Man 2.0. He's walking normally. No webs, no powers. Which makes what he's doing suicidal. Spider crisis coming through! Looks like he's been in a fight. Maybe he knows something. Come on, man, lay off! I told you everything. The deal's going down on the roof. No lie. Right, just you stay out of trouble. Hope I'm not too late. My doppelganger's got some skills. I told you, I give up. That's gonna leave a mark. And he left the drugs. Seems like his intentions are good, even if his meth. The police will handle the cleanup. Counterfeit Spidey must have knocked out, but breathing. That's him. People seem to like him. Yeah, I mean me. I, I, I mean, ugh, this is weird. My pleasure, citizens. Excuse me. I hear someone in need. Okay, I do not talk like that. Nobody talks like that. Let him go. Yeah, right. We'll get even more from Mr. Fisk when we bring him your head. Whoa, hey guys! I'm not the real Spider-Man! Not anymore, you're not. Time to even the odds a little. Kill them both! I've got this. Go. You miss a chance to team up with the real Spider-Man? No way! You know how to fight! I'm a black belt. I teach at Jakar Dojo. I just wanted to help. Yeah, but when you dress like me, you inherit my enemies. And I've got a lot of enemies. Look out! Four of them! I'll take the ones with guns. You get the rest. would appreciate free self-defense classes.
Tell me twice! Intense! How do you do it? One bruise at a time. Look, your heart's in the right place, but if you keep this up, you're gonna get killed. Yeah, I see that now. Don't worry, I'm hanging up the suit. Spider-Man, no more. Good call. Besides, you don't need a costume to make a difference. Hey, that's a good line. I'll remember that. Better stop them before they end up in driver's end videos. You robbed the bodega, tied up the owner, and stole his vehicle. Yeah, we did do that stuff. Our boys were clean. Come on, sir, now! Shoot him, Al, at least you're not texting. Kill him! Carjacker delivery! criminals.
Sorry, I'm usually web swinging. children into the room, friends, because I'm delivering a lesson impressionable youngsters need to hear. My guest today is a man who learned the hard way that dressing up like Spider-Man isn't cool. Go ahead, sir. Well, I've learned to fight crime and help people. I'm a big Spider-Man fan, so I put on a costume like his and try to do what he does. Boy, was that a mistake. I almost got killed. Lucky the real Spider-Man saved me. Let me stop you right there, because I think the salient point has been made. Emulate Spider-Man in any way, and you will die! Don't do it, kids! And that's another one of Uncle Jonah's life lessons. Jared, trademark that! How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job.
Wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, um, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. Good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <laughs> Got it. Like I'm 
breathing from a tailpipe. <laughs> Must be freaking these people out. Uh, what else is new? Toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Light on that one. Smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars! He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone! What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Hey Pete, this lab monitors the health of marine life, and we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it. But the effects these diseases have, they're just... they are not something any living creature should go through. Looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish. I better take care of it before the food supply's contaminated. Found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish. I just need to spray it over the water and fast before people start getting sick. First step, get to the docks. I bet whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water.
Just call me your friendly neighborhood garbage man. Barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. Now that it's clear, this is a perfect spot to spray. You're my hero. Seriously. If I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. Gotta cover a wide area. The fish will spread it to other fish, which is good. Because there's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water currents, there's another area I need to hit. More barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of them. Great thing about barrels, I don't shoot at it. The downside is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Clear to spray. Come on, fishy fishies. This is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider-Man. Water polluter. Okay, time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured.
Oh, clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight. demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon.
Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb us? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid! You talk too much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, if there are any... Now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Gotcha! <laughs> Coming your way! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Just let me have the money! Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid? You just stupid! You not so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics? Now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Don't kill me! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Just let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. Quit now for your own joy! Catch! Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid? You just stupid! You talk too much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure it? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's also subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. Like about who their mysterious overlord is. The person they're working for, that kind of thing. Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, they'll kill me! Give up before you really get hurt! This one's gonna hurt! Come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Just let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna happen. You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, Try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no! Oh, come on, Herman! Tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Tell me who you're working 
for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Okay, catch this one with your face! You're freaking me out, Herman! It's not like you to be afraid of people! Not even sure these guys are people! Could be anything under those masks! Wait, did you say masks? yourself literally man he was scared and desperate these demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure...
sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. <sighs> well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. So I looked into reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri, any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Now, this station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm, readings are troubling but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. 
The sampler is detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too, but also something else. I'm on the right track. Just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it.
Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. Nice, it's warm. <coughs> Breathing this stuff in, not good. A couple more barrels. <laughs> Gotta stay above this stuff. <laughs> Last one! Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage.
could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. A thing of beauty. If you told 12-year-old me one day dudes in masks would try to blow him up with rockets, well, actually, you'd probably get pretty excited. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration points in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. 
The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals, but it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. One more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails, seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. My bad. I did it. No zombie pigeons. Huh. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her... ...bringing us. I wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. Need immediate response to a 1030 on an armored car. Available officers, please proceed to Bryant. Over. Hey, so this gang war between the demons and Fisk is really heating up. I know. Even Shocker's a part of it. Got roped into running jobs for the demons. These guys are serious. Do they just want to replace Fisk? That'd be bad enough. Hope it's not something worse. Attention units. Officers are engaged with the demons. Shots fired. Please proceed to Hell's Back. Over. Demons are getting worse than Fisk ever was. Officers, pull your wounded back. I'll handle this.
aren't slowing down. What are they trying to accomplish? That's the last of them. Friggin' terrorists. Thanks for the assist, Spider-Man. Stay safe out there, officer. There's more where these came from. Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup. That don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check. Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in. Eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demons' hands. Snipers everywhere. Might need to deal with them first. A lot of junk scattered around here. A well-placed web shot could make a great distraction. That sniper has a guard watching him. May need to divide and conquer. They keep talking about gear. What does Fisk store here? Anyone's here? Are you gonna wish you weren't? Stand by. Sleep it off. Been through a dozen different owners before him. You two, cut the chatter. We're here to work. I heard. Whole shipyard's like a minefield. There are caps from every decade all over the place. What's the point of that? Can't someone disarm them? Too many. Some are too old. Besides, I you literally didn't see that coming. It gives the place a character. Yeah, so much character it'll blow your hand off if you're not careful. And it keeps the gear in the vault that much safer, I guess. <laughs> Done pretty well for me. I'm not the one cranking on rusty ass pipes. Hmm. What's this tunnel they're trying to seal? And where does it lead? hasn't come through here in years. Kid, you really are slow, you know that? It's an old bootlegger hideout. Oh, what? Dano! Shh! Zulu-5, what's your status? 
For sure, all the gears here. Might have Eddie Knight. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. I'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I'd go myself, but you know, not Spider-Man. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything to pack enough current. Try this. Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of.
electric web for the win. The gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. Started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Did that work? Nah. Must not be the right box. Keep looking. Got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Aha. Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. I know I'm after scrapes. I should take another look around. Pay dirt! Scrape, no door. None I can see anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Rusted machine parts, big honking rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. <laughs> nice, stuck the landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. Did it open? No. This door must be hooked to another box. You were after Fisk for a long time, huh? He's my great white whale. Nailed it! Hell yeah, you did. Hey, check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. Well, look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. A junction box, where would I be? Follow the conduit. Found it.
Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trapdoor. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. I'm blocked. Anything you can do? What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. The place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. Sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. Or was. They didn't want the non-lethal stuff. They passed up smoke grenades, flashbangs. Got empty crates here. And it looks like they took the ones they didn't clean out. There's a fenced off room here they didn't bother with. Too much effort to break in when you can just peel back the wire mesh over this gun rack. There. They blew the locks to get in. Shh. Demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Find cover! What the? That's what I'm talking about! Just trying to do my part. Look out! Firing! Stay clear! Now you're just showing off! That's a guy dodging bullets. <laughs> I'm a little impressed. Keep watching. Stay clear. I'll stun him. I got your back. Thanks. I needed that. Your timing is impeccable. How we doing? I think we're winning. I've got friends too!
Alma! Why? Stop! You okay? Go! I'll catch up! If I lose two trucks full of gunmen in one day, it's time to hang up the webs. someone if I can't stop him. Doing my best to catch up, but you might be on your own. Stay safe, Jeff. Don't do anything crazy. Sanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? Here's your stuff. to run on time. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the Bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your angle? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep.
Come on. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, 64476. That's room 33. Truck's already left at shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage. Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. I don't care if I lose everything else. But I have to find my Spidey drive. Can't be that hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30-ton garbage truck. I have years of research on that drive. Everything I've worked on since high school. it's locked. Can't have people stealing garbage. Maybe there's another way in. Breaking and entering if I don't break anything, right? Okay, no need to panic. Maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet. Nada. Ugh. Okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure, I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great, I'm headed there now. Hey, it's a long shot, but sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shop. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No, started with an L, I think. Larry's? That's on the east side. Uh, Leo's. Leo's, yeah. That might be it. Man, I love Leo's. I'll pick you up a pie. I owe you one. No worries. Hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks, Eddie. Should be some trucks close by. Nope, stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. Sign of my stuff. 
What an interesting smell. Eddie, you're my only hope. Not there either, huh? Are you sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle. Here's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh, looks like trouble. You okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, mind if I look around for some, uh, some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. There's something there. Gotta move these bags out of the way. Please be here, please be here. Yes! Hope it still works. Phew, looks like everything's here. Hey look, an old gadget prototype. Looks kind of awesome. Why didn't I ever finish it? I think I can make this work. Got it. Look, is that guy? Is he Spider Man? Uh oh. Ice! Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? Guess I could try MJ's. All right, how am I gonna talk my way onto MJ's couch? Uh, hi, MJ. It's Peter. Any chance I could stay over to... Oh, that's... MJ! I was just in the neighborhood and... Oh, that's lame. Hey, MJ. Now that we're talking again, I thought maybe... Okay, that just sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? 
We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Oh, what am I thinking? Hmm, just got a web alert. Huh, looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. I wish Harry was in town. I could crash with him. Hmm. Someone left me a voicemail. Numbers blocked, though. Hey there, Spider. Long time no see. Miss me? Come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I think I know that voice. She's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? She won't there. One of her cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Better keep an eye out. Hey, Yuri. You still have Black Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup. Right? I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were gonna meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Well, of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. Another camera. Gotta be Black Cat. Are you jealous I'm visiting my other man? I hope so. But you should know bad boys aren't my type.
Aha. Why are you doing this, Felicia? You know I'm gonna catch you. Demon's robbing an armored car. He can park a hard time. Were you not loved enough as demon babies? Dad to withholding? Mom not around? Let you cry all night? Demons are after some serious financing. Can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What are you doing here so late? Hope May's couch is comfortable. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Hope Mr. Lee's okay.
Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after... Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. out into the city and try to pay it forward. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them. But with my bad leg and all... You know what? I'd get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Hey, Jeff. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the Fisk construction site in Midtown. My wife would kill me if I ditched a ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neck. Another camera. Looks like Black Cat, all right. Oh, poor spider. I know I disappointed you when I couldn't go straight, but why mess with perfection? I think they sell rare wine here. She's branching out. Gotta try and get ahead of her. Hey, Jeff, it's me. What were you calling about? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the fifth construction site of Midtown. My wife would kill me if I ditched a ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by and let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> Can 
consolidated shipping. Got what you came for. You don't need to kill us, too. <clears throat> Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. Jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Police. 
Better swing around the outside to look for Fist Man. Say good night. I could have taken him. Sure, sure. Gotta find the survivors fast. Hey, big guy. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Fisk, your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? Maybe he's there. Maybe he isn't. Check the roof.
That just happened? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Please, let me have this. I know. You need to bring it down. I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? Working on it, Yuri. Call you when it's done. That just happened? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Did that just happen? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. Did that just happen? Yeah. I'm getting reports of a helicopter with a wrecking ball? Yeah, things with the demons got complicated. Sit tight, Yuri. I got this. I know. You need to bring it down. 
I know. Maybe you could superhero a little faster? Working on it, Yuri. Call you when it's done. to Newark? Masks are so awesome. Where do you get them? Oh. Great start on this. Yeah. Cool, thanks. Do they have a website? Yes. Whoops. Hey, Yuri. 
I caught the bad guys, but... But what? You might want to bring a ladder. Yo, Miles. Hey, fanboy. Oh, crap, I'm late. You coming? Uh, nah, I gotta get to City Hall for my dad's ceremony. All right, tell your pops I said congrats. MJ, did they start the ceremony yet? They're still setting up. Where are you? Got hung up at work. Be there soon. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. Died. Need to shut down the demons before more lives are lost. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. The last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. <laughs> well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider-Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> Or, maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey.
Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so such exemplary citizens. I think this gang war may finally be over. Like, like over, over? I'm, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well, a truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but... I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh, instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. <laughs> for acts of extraordinary bravery. Above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a Department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family, my wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I, I couldn't do what I do. Yes, I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your...
company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass. I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer. Thank <laughs> you.